Hi everybody. Um, today I wanted to talk about choosing color when you are painting. This is a very treacherous, mysterious thing. Um, when you watch the DIY shows and um, the house flips and so on, people walk in and say, well, I don't like the color on the walls. And I'm always like, hey, you know, you can paint it. But that just is um, a testament to how much people are afraid of color um, and how much they don't like to paint. Um, because there's risk involved and you put all that time and effort uh, and the money that it takes to come up with the wrong color. So I want to take some of the mystery out of choosing what color to paint your walls. So what we're looking at here is a fan deck and I would advise anyone not to pick color without a fan deck. Now I don't care what color paint you decide to paint or what brand you decide to paint, but you need to choose your color in the context of a fan deck. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because in this fan deck, you will see all of the colors together in harmony, how they live. And what you need to realize is that the ones that are at the bottom down here are hues. That's the darker version of that color. And as you go up to the top, these are tints, which are the lighter versions of the color. If you are just picking off the wall at your favorite uh, home improvement store um, or hardware store and they just have all those chips together, you've seen them just separately, they're not in context of their color harmonies and their color families. So it's really easy to come up with, for instance, right here I wanted to show you, this might look like khaki and that might look like a khaki taupe, but you can see this one has a lot more pink. Now you might look at this color unto itself and it's called, oh, but it's called sand, so it must be light. No, it's really not. Look at how much pink it has in it. Look at how it goes into the browns. So when you see it here and then up to the tints, you can tell, oh, I might not like that one. That might look pink on my wall. And then you can see a more neutral that goes from down here to, um, this is considered a gray, uh, but it does have a lot of brown in it. So you can go all the way up and see to the tint from the hue and see those color differences there. Um, just make sure you get, if you want a neutral, this will help you do that. If you look down here where the color families are born, where you get the most saturated versions of the color and then go up to what you want for your wall coloring, um, it's just the best way to choose color is when you have a fan deck. This might look like a really great neutral to you. You might think, oh, well, that's a great taupe. That's a great khaki. But in the context of the other ones, it looks sort of green. So you would not notice those differences um, if you're at the paint store and you're just looking at individual chips without the context of the color families that they live in. So that is my advice to you. If you're choosing color, be sure and do it from a fan deck like this a chip deck, people call it different things. Again, the brand doesn't matter. Just make sure that you can see the entire palette. You can see where the colors are born, where they originate from, and then you can see the neutral versions of that color. Because all of these might look like they're really neutral khakis. And if you saw it unto itself, you'd think, oh yeah, well that'll be great, or that'll be great. But you can see this has got more to the green, and this has got more to the pink, and this is more to the yellow but by itself, it might just look like a really good neutral khaki. So that's part of the challenge in choosing a paint color is that we don't do it in the context of a fan deck. So if you're choosing color, um, just make sure you have a fan deck. Mine is um, a little bit worn out, a little bit janky, but it's um, been used to pick lots of colors for lots of homes. And if you need some help making those choices, um, you can hit us up at the website, jodyduncan.com, or shoot me an email, jody at jodyduncan.com, and we can help you pick your house colors and pull your rooms together and style and zhuzh and decorate and find furnishings and couches and lighting and everything else that you might possibly need. So I hope that you find this helpful as you're choosing colors um, and getting your projects done. And um, that takes some of the mystery out of why color can run amok. So just always choose colors in the context of a fan deck and you should do pretty well. Uh, good luck and just remember we're always doing our part to make your world more beautiful.